Set to go. Ready. They settle. Racing in the Manicato. Savatu Excel beat them out with Bella Nipotina on the fence. Driving through is Crystal Bound. Lombardo's driving up as well. And Jonka. So five across the track. And after 250, Jonka burns them off from Lombardo. And Bella Nipotina on the inside from Crystal Bound. A length and a half away. Sneaky five. Savatu Excel. Then away game. Ingratiating Streets of Avalon. La Mexicana. Well back in the field. Swats that and wide. And Express passes at the end. Jonka at the 700 metres settles in the lead by three quarters of a length second Lombardo and they were followed by Crystal Bound who travels up a length and a half away off the leader third then Bella Nipotina, Savatu Excel stoked up now four deep, it's been frenetic then came away game, out very deep swats, that's coming into it sneaky five, well back in the field with Streets of Avalon Express pass, Jonker up around the turn at the 250 from Lombardo, Bella Nipotina needs a run, ingratiating, threading through, Jonker in the straight at the 150, Bella Nipotina's going to have a go. It's Jonker, 100 to go. Bella Nipotina, three quarters of a length, a half away. Jonker hanging on. Bella Nipotina coming at him. Jonker! Jonka won the Manicato from Bella Nipotina. Photo third, ingratiating or streets of Avalon. Then came Lombardo. Next, La Mexicana. Sneaky 5-7 to Excel away. Game Express pass. What's that? And Crystal Bound was last. What a win to Jonka. He just holds off Bella Nipotina, who is charging at him. He wins his first career Group 1. His earnings go to $2 million. And you can imagine he might have just secured himself a stud deal. The son of Spirit of Boom wins. Tony Golan joins Rob Heathcote as a Queensland-based Manicato Stakes winner. It's his sixth career Group 1 for Tony. And for Daniel Moore, this incredible spring continues. That's right, his third Group 1 of the spring. And, Ben, it was sustained speed. It was thrilling. Sure was. He wasn't the best out of the gates. There was some real pressure early, but Dan Moore was decisive, went to the front. He had Lombardo pressuring him. Waiting in behind was Bella Nipotina. She just needed the gap to open. It came in the straight. She charged late, but it was just a little too late. Ingratiating was well ridden by Craig Williams to pick his way through the field. Just wasn't quite good enough, but has run well. Bounces back to form tonight. Streets of Avalon. The old boy flashes home. It was a really nice performance ahead of Lombardo in fifth. But Tony Golan is a terrific trainer. He has placed this horse to perfection and gets an all-important Group 1 victory, Simon Marshall. Yeah, it was a terrific result, wasn't it? Third up here off his run to Mask Crusader. He was a little bit plain at Flemington, first up behind Splintex. But, geez, Dan Moore, he declared his hand early doors, didn't he, Go from Barrier 5. It was on that first 250, as you mentioned, clear cut Jonker to the first bend, got him on his right leg, his left leg, getting into that first bend, and he didn't hold him up. He didn't. He, did, he rode the fast horse fast.